A family demanding answers to the deadly police shooting of this man in Springfield. There's nothing harder than that, losing my son. That's all that matters for me right now. That's what happened to my boy. The family of 22-year-old Vernell Bing told us that he has died after being shot by police yesterday afternoon. Police say Bing crashed head-on into a police cruiser. The sheriff's office says it did not find a gun on Bing or in his car, a fact that has both a city councilman and civil rights leaders calling for an independent investigation into what happened. The I-team's Lindsay Gardner taking a closer look at that. First, let's get to Channel 4's Bakari Savage. He is live in Springfield where protesters are gathering at the same intersection where Bing was shot. I ain't playing. I ain't got time to play. Yeah, Joy, uh, he actually died, or I'm sorry, he was actually shot right behind that gray car over there in this, uh, just behind the intersection. And people like Miss Annette and others who call this place home, they've been gathering here since early this afternoon with these handmade signs, Save Our Sons. It's part of a peaceful rally um, to get justice for Vernell Bing Jr. Now, News 4 Jax did speak with his parents earlier. Here's what they had to say. His intentions when he got out the car was to kill my boy, and that's what he did. And witnesses already on seeing it, people out here that's already talking and seeing everything. And they killed my boy, and that's all too. They killed my boy. Both parents of Vernell Bing Jr. feel what happened near the intersection of 9th and Liberty in Springfield should not have happened. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Chief of Investigations Chris Butler says a five shots fired by seven-year veteran Tyler Landerville, one hit 22-year-old Bing Jr. in the left temple. Bing Jr. went to the hospital that evening and he passed away the next day. Vernell Bing Sr. says that he does not understand why it took so much to stop his son. Well, I think they need to understand they have to pursue certain criminals or whatever they have to do. But I think the first suggestion of them shooting at the upper torso of the body, then not shooting at the lower, I think that needs to be changed first because he could have been apprehended another way than shot at like that. Butler says JSO saw the red Camaro Bing Jr. was driving around 545 Sunday evening and tried to stop him because they recognize it as a car from a shooting in April, which they have been looking for. Police say after a five minute 3.7 mile chase ending at the intersection of 9th and Liberty in Springfield, Bing Jr. crashed into officer Tyler Landerville head on before hitting a building. Landerville went to that red Camaro to arrest Bing Jr., but JSO says Bing Jr. didn't listen to the officer. Butler says that Bing Jr. was unarmed. I don't think I can paint a broad brush stroke that every single time that somebody's coming at an officer, then officer is going to um, remove a firearm. As I said, in this case, it's one of those things that, you know, I don't have that information yet, what caused him uh, to do that and to discharge his weapon. But Butler does say something happened which made Landerville shoot. Although Bing Jr.'s mom says this is just too much to handle. Losing my son. There's nothing harder than that. Losing my son. That's all that matters to me right now. That's what happened to my boy. And Chief Butler says that as for now, there are no plans for any independent investigation. Live in Springfield, I'm Bakari Savage, Channel 4, the local station.